Hello, I am Cassidy Baldwin, and today we'll be talking about mitosis. The cell cycle starts with interphase, which prepares the cell to enter into mitosis, which has four different phases for cell division. Interphase is also called the resting state of the cell. It starts with the G1 phase, where the cell grows and matures, and then goes to the S phase, where it copies the DNA. The last phase in interphase is the G2 phase, where the whole cell prepares for actual cell division. Chromosomes appear in the nucleus and start to look like chromatin. The first stage of mitosis is prophase. <coughs> there is early prophase, which is when the nuclear membrane becomes more and more unclear while the fibers of the chromatin become tightly packed and condensed. The replicated chromosomes appear as thread-like structures, each consisting of two chromatids attached to each other at the centromere. Sister chromatids are two identical halves of a single replicated eukaryotic chromosome, joined at the centromere. They are identical because during interphase they are made from two identical strands of single du duplex DNA models. The nucleolus also becomes unclear and starts to disappear. There is also late prophase. Late prophase is where the nuclear membrane and nucleolus vanish completely. The, the duplicated chromosome coil and become shorter and thicker in appearance. The nucleolus and nuclear envelope gradually disappear. The next phase of mitosis is metaphase. Metaphase is where the chromosomes gather at the equatorial plane and show the spot where the whole cell will divide when the nuclear division is complete. The spindle is formed and the nuclear membrane is no longer visible. As the duplicated chromosomes align on the middle or the equator of the spindle. A kinetochore is a protein structure that forms at the centromere of each chromatid in, in the chromosome. A centromere is a region of the chromosome that joins two sister chromatids. A metaphase plate is where the plate in the spindle is equidistant from the two poles where the chromosomes are lined up during mitosis. The third phase is anaphase. Anaphase is where the chromosomes that were lined up in metaphase are split up into two sister chromatids and are pulled apart by the spindle fibers to opposite ends of the cell. As mitosis progresses, the chromosomes attach to the set of tubules, making chromosomal microtubules once the DNA is already duplicated. Then that makes the spindle fibers pull apart at the chromosomes into individual chromatids. Centrioles are composed of groups of microtubules arranged in a certain pattern. They help to organize the assembly of microtubules during cell division. Astral rays connect to the centrioles to help anchor them down in the cytoplasm. DNA is the hereditary material in humans. Every cell has just about the same DNA, and most of it is located in the nucleus and also in the mitochondria. The fourth and final phase is telophase. Telophase is where the new nuclear envelopes form around two groups of daughter chromosomes which new nuclei appear in the spindle fibers disappear. Spindle fibers form a protein structure that divides the genome material in a cell. They are necessary to equally divide the chromosomes in a parent cell to two daughter cells during the both types of nuclear division. As the cell divides, the separation between the divi dividing cells is called the cleavage furrow, which lines the points where the cells are going to divide. After mitosis, cytokinesis happens. Cytokinesis separates the daughter nuclei into two individual daughter cells. This results in a fiber ring called cleavage furrow, forming around the center of the cell and contracts and pinches the cell into two individual daughter cells having their own nuclei. These steps continue to happen in cell division throughout a person's life time. Thank you.